Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Achas Raj and you are watching Gold Freaks. In this video, I am going to show the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the previous year IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So in this video, I am going to show the task that reverse the string of the string. So this question is very very simple. So it can be able to solve by the Java beginners and Java moderate level programmers. So, so it is very very simple. So it can be done in various number of methods. So I will be doing uh, doing in two methods so that you can be able to understand it. So let me enter into the task. The, the, the task given by me is the input is hello how are you so this is the input that i am going to reverse it so i am getting the output in the form of a reverse order as uh, according to my input string so i am getting the output as hello in the reverse order how in the reverse order and r in the reverse order and you in the form of a reverse order so i think that everybody understood the particular question the question is very very simple so let's move into the coding section so guys finally we are entering into the coding session so in this coding session i am using java as my programming language and i am using visual studio code as my code editor so finally we are entering into the co programming uh, so so firstly i am going to create a new class called uh, reverse dot java okay so i am going to solve this in two methods in this video only so why i am solving it as a uh, two method in this particular video means uh, the two methods are very very simple so i will be explaining that two method so i am going to explain the first method so uh, uh, i am initializing a scanner class i'm sorry i am going to initialize the main method first so i am going to initialize the main method and i'm going to initialize the scanner class scanner is equal to new scanner of system dot in and okay there's a small spelling mistake in which okay system dot in okay so then i am going to import this scanner class and then import not import okay the import java dot util dot scanner uh, so as the previous i am going to buy a string input from the particular user string str equal to sc dot next line and i am going to solve the first method so the first method is very very simple first method is that for firstly we are going to initialize a for loop for in i equal to str dot length minus one and it will be inside it will be getting looped up to uh, zero and i decrement and then if the condition is satisfied then i am going to print the uh, answer str dot caract of i i and then i am putting a space okay so i am going to uh, explain this so for that i am putting a word oh, sorry hello how are you so this is my particular string input i want to get this in the form of a reverse order so let me try to explain it so firstly i am going to uh, initialize a for loop in that for loop i am going to initialize uh, string length string length is my uh, string length you can be able to calculate by calculating the string so the string length minus one so minus one is u so the i is greater than or equal to zero the string length uh, that particular string length so i am going to initialize a, so giving an input as small word so it is very confusing so i am uh, going to reverse this particular small word so the string length as you see that uh, string length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 are the 5 is the string length. Okay. So then I am going to uh, initialize the for loop for int i equal to string length minus 1. So the minus 1 is uh, 0. So it, because it will be starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the for string length minus 1 is o. This o is the string length minus 1. So this because it is in the fourth index. It is in the fourth index. So it is the string length minus 1, 4. Uh, so sorry, 0. So, O, this is uh, the O is firstly taken and it will be initialized in the for loop. In, uh, in, in that for loop, I will be printing the first letter. First letter is i equal to string length minus 1, I will be printing O. Okay, as the first, I will be printing O. So then I am going to come and answer the for, uh, for loop and then I am going to print the uh, second. The i will be decremented, so I will be printing the second. Second one is 5 uh, five will be decremented and 5 will be becoming 4 so the string length is 4 and 4 minus 1 is 3 so 3 is greater than or equal to 0 we are taking it and then if the condition is satisfied then we are coming in the inside this particular loop and then string uh, str dot caret of 3 so 
so the 3 is 0 1 2 3 so this L L is at the third index so this will be printed so then it will be coming also at the door loop so then int i equal to str dot length minus 1 length is so uh, after decrementing the length will be 3 so the 3 minus 1 is 2 3 2 is greater than or equal to 0 so the condition satisfied then it will be con coming inside the loop so then it will be printing second so second index is 0 1 2 so this L is the second index so I will be printing that L and then it will be coming out and then I will be uh, initializing it uh, and then uh, the string length is uh, after decrementing 2 it will be becoming 1 ok so then I will be initializing it and then, then it will be coming as uh, 2 minus 1 will be 1 so 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and then it will be coming in inside and the str dot caret of 1 so the 1 is 0 1 so first index the letter is E so then I the 2 will be decremented and then the 2 will be becoming as sorry the 1 will be uh, decremented and the 1 will be becoming as after minusing it with uh, 1 1 minus 1 is 0 the string length will be 1 after decrementing string length will be 1 and i equal to 1 minus 1 will be 0 so 0 greater than or equal to 0 0 greater than or equal to 0 so it will the condition will be satisfied and then it will be coming inside the loop and then str dot caret of 0 so first index will be h so it will be printed h ok so like this the word will be printed so this is the first method guys this is the first method so the first method is very very easy so I am going to uh, uh, tell you the second method so after this it will be printing this one ok so then I am going to uh, tell the second method in this video only I am going to not putting an extra video for it we are going to see the second method that we have done so this is our first method so this method I see, seen that everybody understood it it is very very simple so guys finally we are going to see the second method so I am going to erase it I am going to erase this as second method so this is a second method so guys for the second method I will be firstly initializing the string value as null value and then I am go going to put the uh, for loop for in the equal to 0 I less than str dot length str dot length and I incrementing and then if the condition if the for loop is satisfied then I put in n incising the n equal to n str dot caret of i plus n so in usual situations we will be writing as like this right n equal to n plus str dot caret of i so you will be writing like this so I will be writing I will be put n here because the, this n is a null value and this will be printing the last letter of the word with this it will be appending the last letter with this particular i so I put like this so guys this is the final output guys so I got it so I am going to print the final output so for that I am putting is system dot out dot print ln and n okay so guys finally we got the final output so this is the second method guys uh, if you are confusing with this uh, second method if you are confusing with this second method you can follow the first method guys so that's it so guys finally we are entering into the output session so finally we are going to get to the output so so guys i think that everybody understood the question that we are going to do so we are going to reverse the particular string in the particular uh, input so we are going to reverse it off so i am giving a particular input as hello world so this is my input so i will be getting the reverse of this particular uh, string so i don't know whether i am getting or not i will be checking it so let me check it out so yeah guys i finally got the reverse of this string so I think that everybody understood the code and as well as the output written in which it is getting. So that's it guys. So guys I keep on saying it guys do practice every day at least two or three sums, uh, two or three programs and uh, two or three problems at least uh, do that particular task every day uh, with, uh, with this programming. 
so it will be very easy and it will be very useful for your future and uh, so guys that's it guys we will be seeing you in the next video with a new task so guys keep practicing take care bye bye